When you're talking about a knowledge management organisation, I think it's really important to think about it in two quite distinct phases. Um, many people just think about it as a knowledge management team and I, I don't think that's effective. I think that's where you can be disappointed in the results. Um, my approach is to think about it as two very distinct phases with two very distinct team formations and two very distinct team personalities or traits. Phase one, I would call the kind of start-up or implementation team. And that needs to be structured and staffed with people who have um, a, a kind of visionary approach, an engagement approach, um, a selling and marketing approach. They, they have to be able to take what is, in effect, a new concept for the organisation, create a language and processes and techniques and tools that are appropriate to that organisation. They then have to go out and market that. They have to communicate that. They have to engage the business and the possibilities that it can deliver for them. This is all proactive, getting out there and working with the business with something that's new, it's being invented as they go along, it's innovation. And that takes a particular type of person and a particular structure of the team. Now, once you've got it rolled out and your processes are standardised, your roles are standardised, your techniques and tools are standardised, then it's time to change the ethos and approach and structure and personalities of the team. Because no longer are you trying to market or engage or sell the organisation this new concept. It's there. It's there. Now the role becomes one of assurance. Assuring the management, the senior management of the organisation, that what they intended to put in place is actually in place and is actually being delivered according to the standard. You want a refresh component. So things will change, but will change very slowly. You know, as the organisation becomes more familiar with knowledge management um, and its application in their environment, you may want to change things, but quite slowly. And this requires a different type of personality. This is a steady state environment. This is the type of person who's quite happy working the detail. Uh, the person who is quite happy, you know, monitoring that what was put in place is actually being adhered to. So if you're thinking in terms of knowledge management organisations, please think about it in two distinct phases. And staff your teams with two distinct types of personality. Up front, engaging, marketing, selling type personalities, creating something from new. And in phase two, steady state, monitoring and assurance. If you do that, then you're likely to have the appropriate organisation for the phase that your company's at with knowledge management.